A 60-foot fall into an icy river. At last word, police said a 25-year-old driver was in critical condition. Her passenger okay. Colleen Henry reports on an unbelievable story of survival and the firefighters who made it happen. When the alarm rang just before 6 last night, Travis McCullough was just sitting down to dinner. A car had driven off the 27th Street viaduct and landed in the Menominee River. It was his first real dive rescue call. You know, they said, go when I started running. Skid marks and orange paint show the path as it crossed into oncoming traffic, hooked up onto the curb, and then blew through the fence. The SUV landed 60 feet below in the icy Menominee River. The divers carefully crossed the ice and found the car almost fully submerged. No sign of the driver, but a soaking wet passenger stood by on the bank. Only one window was open, and that's, I'm assuming, how the passenger was able to escape. The rest of the doors were pretty much blocked in by ice, couldn't break open the windows. All the airbags had deployed, all the seats were broken um, from the impact. Dennis Gross was standing by with the rescue sled as McCullough and his partner finally pulled the woman from the car. She had no pulse. I'm thinking, you know, she just flew off the bridge, that she is not going to be in any kind of good condition. Put her inside the sled and uh, hauled her back to the, to the shore and handed her off so that she can go into the med unit. Gross says he eventually had time to look up to the bridge the women flew over. It was yeah, pretty jaw-dropping. So was word from the paramedics. The woman was now breathing. I don't know her status right now, but I hope she pulls through and I'll just keep doing my job. McCullough says he was proud to be part of the rescue. In Milwaukee, Colleen Henry, WISN, 12 News. Well, police say the car was speeding before the driver lost control, and police initially said the women may have been racing. They now say they've been unable to confirm that.